The clock is ticking on climate change. Going beyond the Kyoto Protocol, the United Kingdom has taken a leading role by setting a voluntary domestic goal to cut carbon dioxide emissions by 20% by 2010. These targets are particularly challenging, especially at a time when the global demand for power is constantly increasing. With power generation accounting for 40% of man-made greenhouse gas emissions, the need to generate a significant amount of clean electricity has never been more urgent. By combining existing, proven technologies, it is now possible to generate electricity on an industrial scale from hydrogen, capturing more than 90% of the carbon dioxide emissions. Peterhead in Scotland is the proposed site for a joint venture by BP and Scottish and Southern Energy to build the world's first hydrogen-fired power plant. It will position the United Kingdom as clear world leaders in this exciting new combination of technologies. Natural gas will be piped to the plant from North Sea gas fields through existing pipelines. The gas will then be cleaned to remove substances such as sulphur. It will enter a reformer where it will be combusted with steam at high pressures to form synthesis gas. This syngas will then go through a shift reaction and continues on to be split in carbon dioxide removal towers into its component gases, hydrogen and carbon dioxide. The captured carbon dioxide will be compressed, dehydrated and transported via a pipeline to an existing terminal at St Fergus. Then piped 240 kilometers offshore to the Miller platform and injected 4 kilometers under the seabed into the Miller oil field a porous rock formation that has safely been holding oil and gas for over 15 million years. As the carbon dioxide enters the formation, it will enable as much as 60 million barrels of previously unrecoverable oil to be produced. This enhanced oil recovery process could extend the life of the oil field by up to 20 years. As the oil is forced out, the carbon dioxide remains behind, stored securely and permanently beneath a natural impervious seal. With 90% of the carbon dioxide captured and stored, the hydrogen is burned to generate 475 megawatts of clean electricity for the UK, from which water vapour is the main emission. This is enough to supply 750,000 homes, the equivalent of a third of all the homes in Scotland. This project will capture and store up to 1.8 million tonnes of carbon dioxide each year, the equivalent of taking more than half a million cars off the road. This is a timely, cost-effective and substantial contribution towards meeting the United Kingdom's emissions reduction goal. The United Kingdom has a unique opportunity to lead the world in tackling climate change, and we can do it now.